Bastards, today I want to talk about a subject that is mostly to your own judgment because there's not a, a precise science in it, but I want to talk about expira uh, expiration dates. It is something that uh, not many people really know or even think about, but every product has a certain expiration date. And we're mostly talking about food in this way. So, expiration dates. Uh, why are they on the packages? Uh, first of all, they are demanded by law for, for food protection for the consumer. Uh, uh, so, they have to put uh, an expiration date on it. So, yeah, that way we can think about some products that don't need an expiration date, but by law they are demanded to have an expiration date. I will give you an example with this, and that is um, just a plastic water bottle. Uh, it has an expiration date ab about uh, around it, so this is from. Uh, it should be. Uh, it's already a few years or uh, by date uh, over the expiration date uh, by uh, four years, and it's still drinkable. So, why would they put? Uh, should they put this on it? Well. First of all, uh, it's because, it's because uh, what this bottle of water is falling under the category of food products. And thereby, the people who make, uh, the factories who make these things, uh, are, uh, uh, must put it on. So, uh, the thing is, you can store this as long as the container, the, in this case the plastic, holds it. So, as long as the plastic is not damaged, as long as you put it in a cool, dry, uh, dark place, you can store this for a very long, for many, many years actually. So that's something we need to we need to think about when you think about preparedness and uh, about survival. So because this could uh, mean uh, this could mean this just could mean life and death when you really need it, and yeah if you want to put it in stock. So if you put it a lot of it in stock, like you perhaps can see in the back here, um, you cannot just drink, drink this all the way or you have to keep rotati rotating it, which we'll talk about in a moment. So yeah, as long as you put it, uh, uh, store it properly, it uh, does not harm you. The only problem that could arise is if you store it for like a decennia, that's uh, in that uh, in that time period, plastic the plastic from the bottle could uh, give off microplastics into the water, and that could be not that beneficial for long term health uh, if you keep drinking it. But yeah, I would say look it up, uh, look it up about uh, microplastics. But uh, if you're going to put it in the stock, and it's used for emergency situations you will you will not really care about microplastics so that's just something i want to give you with it um about plastic water bottles so that's the first thing it's they are by law it's they have to put it on so even so don't throw this just away if it's uh, if the seal is not broken yet and there is no damage to the other places and you have stored it in a correct way like i said before you can keep this many many years in your stockpile so yeah don't just throw this away is what i'm trying to say and and even if you think that it's not safe to drink for some reason uh, then at least use it for some other means like washing sanitary or uh, something else like that all right now we get to the second part uh why they put expiration dates uh why expiration dates are needed and that's this actually uh about it's about profits a lot uh what do i mean by this many uh it's kind of a business model a lot of uh, uh companies who make products if you make a product that is too good and goes too long um uh, yeah then customers will not will only buy it once or twice for a very long time and yeah you do not sell a lot so that's why sometimes they put expiration dates that are lower, that are lo far lower than they, they are really. So the consumer will think, oh, uh, this this can is almost at uh, is over its expiration date. I will throw it away. 
while it's still perfectly good eating and could be uh, the expiring date could be much longer. So that way, uh, companies can make a profit if, uh, if uh, customers have a, lo have a shorter expiration date. Uh, so that's something to think about. It's not with all the products. It's, it's not that all the companies do this, but it's a big factor in the business world. And that's something you as a prepper need to take account of. So the next thing is uh, responsibility. Uh, the every company that makes a comp uh, a product like uh, let's say this uh, can of beans they the expiration date is far lower than the real date that it should be expiring uh why uh like i said before it's a uh, profit but also for responsibility because if this can uh, goes bad while it's not being opened yet or not being damaged then the consumer who got sick of it could sue the company and companies do not want this so they put for the safety the expiration date shorter than the real expiration date so that way even if the customer finds a, some sort of loophole of uh, gets sick from it sick from it even just on the expiration date uh, that it's printed printed on then they cannot sue them so that's a that's a way to keep them safe so they cannot put it too far and they cannot put it too far back is what I'm trying to say so that's uh, another thing why they put uh, expiration dates on it uh, the next thing is uh, quality so quality which what do we mean by that we all uh, I'm not uh, it's not really talking about the safety in this case but the quality of the product in flavor and in nutrition so if you store a can, like this kind of beans for a long time, uh, a very long time actually, it will start to, to degrade in a way. It starts to lose flavor because flavors will start to change um, even uh, if it's within the expiration date and uh, the taste will, be not, will not be as fresh from, as a fresh uh, can of beans than an older can of beans. And also the thing is, uh, food products will lose some nutritional value uh, over a longer time of period, even within the expiration date. So we are talking more about uh, the potence of the food product. That's perhaps a better word to make it. So, yeah. So the thing is, uh, it could be it could be a, like a give off a, a certain smell. That is not good as in the, as a fresh can of beans. Perhaps it's not that many uh, nutrition than they claim uh, than they claim from a fresh can. So that's what I'm talking about. This uh, it does not mean that it's not potent anymore. And the same thing actually counts also for medicine. Uh, yeah, we're talking more about food, but medicine is also a very uh, important stockpile that you do not want to just throw away and nev uh, never use. There is a certain, uh, there has been conducted a certain, uh, uh, how do you say, it? research if, uh, by the American US Army and they examined medicine in their stockpiles that were five years over the expiration date. And what, they, uh, what did they discover? 90% uh, of all the medicine that were five years above their expiration date were still Potent. That means they were still usable for the tasks they, they are meant to, but they were less potent. So you, sometimes you had to use, they had to use a little bit more of the same medicine to get the same effect as a new, uh, freshly batch of the same medicine. So that way it's less potent, but it's still usable. So from a preppers and a survival perspective, that's very could be very important to know that you do not throw away certain medicine because it has reached its expiration date. So you can still use it a few years after, although you have to take into account that it will be not that potent. Uh, yeah, so that's something really important to, to think about when, the, when you look at expiration dates. Uh, next thing is production methods. Um, that's also, uh, how do you say this? Uh, a reason why expiration dates 
uh, are longer than they are on the on the products uh, than they claim on the product itself, because um, we live in a high in a highly technological uh, how do you say this technological age. We have a food safety. We have laws about it and uh, research, and that way uh, in the production methods of packaging of uh, food is more safer than ever before. There is far less chance of uh, that uh, pathogen, the dangerous pathogens, uh, rodents uh, or insects, or or uh, hairs, even hairs from people who who are working in the factory, uh, contaminate the food product while packaging. So that's something you need to take in account because. We all hear hear the dangerous. Uh, the, we all heard about the stories about they found a mouse in one of the cans or pieces of glass or uh, salmonella and other dangerous pathogens, but those are rare actually. If we think about how many of these news uh, flashes we hear about these contaminated food products and the food that gets produced every day, it's very small a very small chance that it could happen. So yeah, the, because of they use new techniques like uh, uh, new ways to package food, ionizing by uh, that means that they use a sort of radiation uh, on the on the packaged food. So even while it's in the package, uh, dangerous pathogens would uh, not survive that ionizing uh, technique of uh, packaging. Uh, yeah, some other chemicals are also being used to make the chance of uh, growing pathogens or uh, fungus uh, less. So, yeah, as long as you have, uh, if you buy of a modern uh, kind of company, the chances are of uh, such poisoning very low. Is what I'm trying to say. So just keep it in, uh, in account. So those were the reasons why they put expiration dates on it. Uh, we're now going to talk about a few ways uh, a few things i want to talk about in uh, specific examples of uh, uh, expiration dates like i said before uh, if you have canned food i do not really like canned food uh, uh, because uh, uh, unless the other package uh, package sort of uh, packagings but it's uh, if you have the canned food i would advise to uh, yeah look it at from your own judgment when can you not use uh, canned food? You got to look at certain things. First of all, expiration date. If it's just on the expiration date and uh, you open it, uh, and, I mean, it's above the expiration date and you in a survival situation and you want to know if it's still safe to eat, watch for the, cert uh, for the next things. First of all, look at the date, obviously. Second, look at the, uh, look at the metal. If you see any... Uh, uh, traces of rust, denting, or uh, scratches, or uh, some uh, openings um, that could have damaged the, the can. You have to look for certain things that make weak spots in it where potential oxygen could reach the inside of the can. If that happens um, while it was in storage, then uh, yeah, then it's high. Uh, then it's, there is a big chance that it's contaminated. How do you see that it's contaminated before it's opening? If you watch at the top of the lid and you see a little bulge above it, that means oxygen uh, or pathogens are have been breached through the packaging and are now starting to to how do you say this to rot. And by that process, it starts to to give out gases, and that gases will make a dent. So. Like you see now, this is just flat, so this is still safe to eat. But if you have a bulge that you can press a little bit in, that means there is gas inside of it. Uh, next thing, if you have canned food, if you have canned food that are being packaged in a vacuum or with certain gases, like you know, like a soda, like a soda can, if you hear that sound, um, yeah, that means it was still in a protective gas or a product uh, that was still inside the can. If you have such a type of can and you open it and you do not hear that, that's a red flag. That's something you need to to take in account before you're going to just eat uh, dig in. 
is what I'm trying to say. If you have opened a can and and you you smell some weird smell, yeah, that's like I said before. It could be less. It could be uh, less potent. So the smell could be different. But if you have like a real sm rotting smell, do not eat it. That means fungus pathogens are starting to grow inside of it. And of course, it's not only the smell. If you look at it, the certain foods can give can get a different color. But if it's like a rotten fungus kind of color, do not eat it. That's on your own judgment. But those are the factors you need to take in account if you cannot uh, afford to throw this food away in a survival situation, is what I'm trying to say. Um, what shall we talk about now? Oh, uh, another type of packaging. You know, I'm a big rice guy. And uh, if you have food that does, that are of, uh, in a vacuum plastic uh, container like this, and you store it in a dark, cool, and dry place. Yeah, this uh, could be this could be uh, uh, usable for a long time. In this case, rice. In this kind of packaging and in the factors that I just uh, said about uh, how to stockpile it, well, it could be stored in for 35 years. So that's uh, something to take into account. Just a little example. Um, Freeze-dried foods that you buy, something like these uh, packages that are freeze-dried. These could uh, um, be, uh, how do you say this, hold for almost 25 years because of all the uh, wa uh, water and oxygen that is pulled out during the freeze-dried product uh, uh, method, I mean. So, yeah, freeze-dried food, uh, very good, as long as the package is not uh, being damaged. So... Uh, moisture cannot reach the inside of the package. So that's very important to think about. And that's perhaps a good moment to talk about uh, storage. If you're gonna store it, uh, store your food uh, somewhere, like I said before with the can, you cannot damage this. So you have to, you cannot put it in the, how do you say this, in a place where it might fall off, make it dense and break the seal. Or in another case, you put it in the in the in the storage, like a closet or a, a shelf, and you do. If you do this a lot with rotating, it could damage the packaging, start to rust, start to get scratches, which weakens the protective layer and uh, contaminate the inside. So that's something to take uh, in account. What I try to do is to prevent this. Is a if you perhaps can see, uh, I put it in these kind of uh, protective uh, shelves that I could put in and put out, and that way I can store more on the outside without the risk of them falling off or get scratched on by uh, rotating it in and in and out. So that's just a small idea about how to store it and keep the expiration date a little bit longer. Um, all right. Uh, next thing uh, we're gonna talk about um, honey uh, some products do not have a shelf life uh, there are certain products that can be almost stored indefinitely uh, like I, uh, like this is one of the best products real honey and I'm talking real honey not a cheap sugary syrup from the stores so honey is one of the best uh, because the the contain, containment of the sugar is so high that pathogens cannot grow in it. They even fi found uh, honey in ancient Egyptian tombs that are still edible. So honey is a very good uh, thing to store in your stockpile and it will never go bad. Same things like salt and uh, actually these kind of plastic water bottles, as long as you do not damage the plastic and cool it in and store it in a dark, cool and dry place, then you're good for a long, very long time. Uh, another thing, um, perhaps that is worth talking about, is uh, these kind of uh, emergency rations that are packaged uh, tightly. Sorry, and the in powdered form, so they are dry. They have no oxygen. And this thing can be stored for till 2000, if you perhaps can see, 2040. So 
yeah so imagine they the factory makers of this the company that made these claim that they can be stored till 2040 that's 20 years and that's perhaps even longer if we take in account all the things that i said before so yeah very good um where you have some other ways you can uh, try to keep the expiration date of certain products longer. I'm going to talk this in perhaps another video. This mostly about how to store fresh foods like potatoes, uh, carrots, like carrots you can store longer if you bury them in, in rind sand uh, where there is no, uh, how they say this, nutri nutrients where they can grow in. So you can store them longer and they can stay dry within the, the sand or uh, yeah, the potatoes, the onions, uh, garlic. I'm going to talk about those things in another video. Uh, perhaps I'm going to talk about certain ways to keep those uh, certain foods longer, like pickling, uh, shutting, chutney, uh, salting, all those things. But I will talk about that in another video. Another thing I want to mention is uh, alcohol. If you're going to store alcohol, um, yeah, I would say if alcohol above 40%, like vodka, rum, whiskeys, uh, pure alcohols, you can store them a long time as long as it's uh, above 40%. Because that way the alcohol containment is so high that pathogens cannot survive in it. So you, uh, yeah, that's something to handy to know that you do not throw away some uh, good booze if you... <laughs> If you go, if you think that it's going to ex be expired, uh, another thing I want to mention is if you're gonna store uh, alcohol, uh, beware of alcohol that has dairy or milk milk in them, like Bailey's or something, because those things will not uh, hold long because of the dairy contents. So that's something you need to take in account with. Um, yeah, another thing. You can um, store long, uh, which, which have an expiration date, and not many people think about this. But bullets, uh, bullets can be can be corrode over time. The gunpowder can can like lose their potency, potence, uh, potence, uh, when, especially when they get uh, in contact with uh, oxygen and uh, how do you say this moist, and of course the some chemical por uh, uh, parts like the blasting cap. Uh, could uh, also be less potent over time. So if you're going to uh, store bullets, I would advise to the bullets that you want to store for a long time, put them in one of these uh, uh, bags and vacuum seal it so oxygen is out of it and store it in the same, like in a dark, cool, dry place. And that way, uh, yeah, you can store bullets longer because even those have an expiration date. All right. I think these are, we are around with the examples. So, um, how do you, what do, what do you can do to, for the expiration dates to, to counter it? Well, there are certain ways. I wrote it in my book, so I'm going to list, uh, make the list so I don't forget anything. Uh, the, one of the most important things about expiration dates is uh, you got to rotate it. Uh, a mistake that a lot of preppers make is they, yeah. They buy a lots of a lots of food, but they never use it. Uh, so I would say find a way to rotate the your stockpile. So if you have foods that are, the foods that are most uh, that are the first to expire, you got to use them first. That's obviously, but yeah, it's not always that simple. I'm going to show you again with uh, how I usually do this. Like you can see, this is. Uh, the rack with uh, with my cans, so they do not dent, and they are. Uh, I can see the expiration dates. So on every can, I wrote with a uh, with a big uh, pencil the expiration dates. So I do not have to look from. Um, it's I do not have to look casual, uh, very close to to get an idea of the expiration dates. They're all written on it in big letters, so uh, numbers, so I can directly see which one it will expire first, and then I can directly take it out, and the rest will fall down, and that way I can keep rotating my canned foods. So that's a that's a 
an example of a system how you can rotate it so the, expira the expiration dates that will last longer are in the back and the lesser ones are in the front. So that's also a good way to keep an oversight over your supplies because if you do it like this, uh, these are just other products, but if you do this with cans, it's very much harder to find out which one you got to use first. All right, so that was just uh, an example. Oh. So the next thing is uh, um, buy things that you are actually going to use. Uh, yeah, and that's very important because if you even if you have an expiration date and you're not planning to eat it, then what's the point? But if you uh, are above the expiration date, I would do it like I do and give it to the chickens because they can eat it. I cannot eat it because it's spoiled, but the chickens can still eat it and they get fed and it's not a loss. So that's uh, another thing you can do. Um, yeah, another thing. The next point is, like I said before, uh, good uh, good storage. Do a dark place where there is no, where no sunlight can reach the inside of the product where because sun is energy and that energy can let certain pathogens fungus grow so keep it keep the place dark keep it dry so no moisture can rust or uh, start to be a source for the fungus and the dangerous pathogens that's uh, obviously i would say and uh, keep it in an, in a dry, dark dry and uh, uh, temper in a place with a uh, low temperature but it's not only the low temperature that you need to keep the expiration date uh, good. Uh, it needs to be constantly at a certain temperature. Because if it's if you store it in a place where it gets hot in the summer and cold in the winter, those changes in temperatures can highly affect the expiration date. So that's something you certainly need to take into account. So like this basement uh, where I keep all my food is the place where the temperature is constant. It's the same temperature in the winter and the same temperature in the summer. And that's very good for uh, the expiration dates on this, uh, of all this food that I keep. So uh, yeah, about not damaging the packages. Like I said before, if you have packages, store them in a certain way that you can always take it without scrap, scrap, scraping it on other harder, hard materials. Do not make dents, uh, scratches, or pierce uh, through the packaging. Those are things you you need to watch out for, like I said before. Um, yeah, those are the things I I wanted to talk about. So, yeah, subscribe if you... Uh, I would appreciate if you subscribe. It would help me a lot. Uh, I hope you learned something from this, uh, that you can think, that you can think of yourself for survival situations and your own judgment on on how to eat food that might be off or might be edgy is perhaps a good word to say it. So subscribe, keep a comment if you have an if you have other ideas about expiration dates or something that I missed in this video or something that I perhaps don't know. So let me hear it. I I'm always willing to learn if you are in the food in the if you work in a food company or in a if a, as a, in a kitchen or something food related uh, let me let me know it give tips that i can improve my uh, stockpile of food and if you got other information about expiration dates that i do not uh, i'm not aware of or forgotten about please let me know i want to learn and other people can learn from it too from the in the reaction so i would really appreciate it uh, yeah, so thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Cheers!